You, new kid, come here. I, he's a guy that owns the hotel in Miami Beach, and I say the hotel because it is. It's sort of the jewel of Miami Beach in 1959. What do you feel? Feel nothing. Exactly. Perfumed air is supposed to blow out of that nozzle 24 hours a day. Perfumed? What does it smell like? It smells like the ocean. We find out pretty quickly in the show that his silent partner that becomes not so silent is... Uh, kind of the head of the local mob uh, with the nickname of the butcher you spend a lot of pals of yours huh what's your what's your monthly nut of there what do you owe you know what i owe ben ike operates under huge amounts of pressure and tries to do it with an air of charm and and uh, likability but uh, there's there's definitely going to be some cracks in there somewhere batista will never let havana fall it'll never happen we're dealing with 1959 miami beach and a lot of worlds were kind of colliding there at that time castro was overthrowing batista in havana which kind of drove the mob that was operating out of Havana and had and owned and had stakes in all the casinos there then had nowhere to go. We're bleeding here. And they end up in Miami Beach, which starts sort of an interesting domino effect for Ike Evans' world. And then the CIA presence in Miami Beach was the highest it's ever been anywhere but Langley at that time. Um, there was more CIA there trying to figure out how to assassinate Castro. So there was a lot of stuff happening in the lobby of these hotels and certainly uh, in the Miramar Playa, the fictional hotel that I run. There was a firestorm of activity that Ike is in the middle of. Your mother. Stevie, she was the love of my life, but not like that. We find out that he'll do anything for his family to protect them. Things start going wrong quickly for Ike, and, and he does his best to stay on top of the situation. I'm back two days, and already I hear you've got union problems. I need your help tonight. He's going to fail in a lot of ways. Not that anyone knows other than Ike. You as an like audience, hopefully I'm going to take you on this journey of, a, of an honest man who does some things that are questionable and, and not honest. And Ike's world is imploding. And he's doing everything he can to keep alive. I got half. I want the rest. No. What did you say? I said no. Come here, Mark. Mark!